Okay, this is uh, going to be a demo of uh, true permission automation for SharePoint. True permission automation for, pay, uh, for SharePoint is uh, an add-on for SharePoint Tool Online, SharePoint Office 365 that allows you to um, automate permissions that uh, are in a SharePoint library or list based on column values that you set uh, for the different items. So if you set a value of a column for an item to be a certain value, you could set rules to automatically apply certain types of permissions uh, on those. So we're gonna go through that right now. Okay, so right now we're going to set some permissions on the uh, uh, and rules to define the automation that we need on this library and the permissions that we need to be applied to the items in this library. So here we have a project site, okay, and we have, um, for example, team. Okay, we're gonna be using that field to identify which team needs to have access. So based on the value or the team that is selected, we're gonna give them access. And then we're also gonna have something here called document type. Based on the document type, if it's a sensitive document, we would like uh, that document, maybe it has some credit card information, we would like that document to be only visible uh, by the uh, accounts payable, okay? Um, so let's take a look and see how we can do that. We are going to uh, open just Office Supplies, just so you see here, so we have some files, okay? And then under Library, we are going to Permissions, and here we're gonna set the rules that we just talked about, okay. First thing we see when we log on is we see um, here that yes, we are under the projects list. Uh, here is the link to the site. Okay, this is just to confirm that we are in fact setting uh, the rules under the right library. And then uh, here you'll see some uh, the permissions guide. If you uh, want some more help on the site, you can come here. Um, and then here you can get some support. Uh, down here, um, we are going to first fill this field, initial permissions. What kind of permissions do we need to apply to the items in this list? Okay, so the first thing is, do we want to copy permissions from the parent as an initial state, or do we want to clear all permissions of an item? We're gonna select to clear all permissions uh, of the item uh, for the moment. And then here, always add the following permissions. So this section uh, lets you have, lets you apply a permission always no matter what happens this rule will apply no matter what change happens to the document this permission will always be applied uh, for example if you have a top-level manager uh, who needs to have access to everything all the items um, you probably want to add a rule and make that top level manager uh, the uh, the person to see so let's go ahead and add that rule when you click on add rule, um, here you can add a group or a rule that you want to always consistently be applied, a permission level, you know, permission to be applied. And here we're gonna, uh, you know, let's make me, myself here, um, the person who is always gonna have full control, okay? And here you can say, so, so Kareem Romani, give Kareem Romani full control all the time on any item. So we're gonna click on add, and you can see here is the rule. Right. Uh, of course, we can add more uh, rules. So we can say, you know, Kareem and, you know, John Doe uh, always have full control on all the items, no matter what. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be sufficient with just one. Um, this is the section where you apply uh, permissions based on column values, right? So here, what we want to do is we want to say add a column. And then we want to say for this column, which we're gonna say uh, here are the available columns that we can pick from, for, from this library. And then here we have one called team. Okay, so we're gonna add a column. Okay, so for this column, let's add a rule that says if the value of this column is red, then we want to give the red, I actually, we actually have a team here a group on the site called 
uh, red team. So we're going to click on red team. Okay, so we want to give this red team SharePoint group um, edit access to this item. If the team column is set to red. Let's go ahead and add that rule and apply it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to add uh, another rule for that column and we're going to say if it's blue, again, we're going to do the same thing. We have a SharePoint group called blue team. It may be just called blue. Yes, indeed, it's, it's just called blue. And we're going to give them also edit. Okay, and then we're going to add finally a green and then here we have the green group, the green team, and then we're going to give them also edit permission. Here we go. So those will always be applied. Now we have another rule on a different column, which is what if we have uh, a sensitive document? Okay, so here we have actually a field that we created called document type and we're going to add rules to that. Here our rule is going to say if the document type is, of course there are drop downs as well, if the, if the document type is a credit card info, maybe the document the customer sent some credit card information with payments and it was stored in the document library, then uh, we're going to give, we have also here an accounts receivable group. We're going to give them um, read access to that so that they can, you know, do the billing and all that information. So we're going to go ahead and add that. And here we go. So those are the rules that we need for this library. We're going to go ahead and uh, create rule sets. So what this does the create rule set is it saves uh, the uh, the rule that we created all those sets of rules okay it stores them in uh, the database so we have them forever or until we modify them and then what we will do also is once we save them it does not apply uh, the rules yet nothing is being applied so if we go into the library and you know modify those columns and team column and document type nothing is going to happen no permissions are going to be set until we click on attach rule set to list this will actually activate um, and you can see here the highlight this will actually activate the rule on the library so let's go ahead and do that attach rule set to list And just to confirm that it's attached, actually you can come back into the library and you'll see now if it's attached, you'll see it say detach rule set. It should say from list, but that's what it is. Okay, so it looks like it's attached. So let's go ahead and test it. So what we're gonna do now is before we begin, uh, let's see the before and after. So here we have, let's say, a payment form signed. Let's take a look at the permissions as they are right now. Advanced. We're going to click on share and then we're going to click on shared with advanced and this will show us the exact permissions. So here we have you know, this document inherits permissions from the library. So, you know, it's kind of a standard document at the moment, okay, that just inherits permissions. And you can see here Excel services viewers, you know, just the standard. What we're going to do is we're going to go and we are going to change uh, one of the properties right now. Actually, we can go to the top here, it'll be easier. And then we're going to go, go edit properties and then we're going to change uh, this document type from proposal to credit card info and then we're going to hit save and then at this point um, 
the permissions are being applied. Um, what we're going to do now is click on, sorry, not this one, but this one. Uh, we're going to click on it and we're going to go to uh, the permissions again. by going here and then share, shared with, advanced. And then you will see here how the permissions used to inherit and now our rules just kicked in. The first rule that kicked in was the always rule. The always rule said always give Kareem Romani full control. And here it is, it has been given. And then also give accounts receivable um, read access and there it is it has also been given okay so this is the power of true automation um, we are quickly able to manipulate permissions and secure documents on the fly uh, seamlessly based on user workflows uh, this is a very powerful tool uh, that is able to really change the game in the way you use document libraries um, and how you structure your data. Uh, so permissions uh, adds a layer of se separation between permissions and uh, the user workflow. Uh, very powerful. So let's back up and you know just to confirm, let's say we go into the same item and then we change uh, this to the blue team. Okay, so here, let's assign it to the blue team. Hit save. And then we can go back in here. Properties. Oops. Share. Advanced. And then you can see here, now the blue team has edit permission on this item as well.